It's I was the waters in the yellow. This is Slasher in the blue. In this Command and Conquer Red Alert cast. Where, well, large map. And, well, not that much, like, uh, not that many gems available. I mean, there are a couple of gems on this patch, a couple in the middle, but nothing in, like, your own base. However, these do, of course, have, like, multiple mine shafts and all that, so it should still be, like, relatively good eco. At least that's what we've seen before. It's difficult to see minigunners and all that running around on the minimap, especially for yellow. For blue, it's less of a problem. So I'll try to stay zoomed out a lot, and, well, that makes it easier to see. Right. Over here, the first or refinery and this one as well are out. Probably are going to see weapons factory next and of course, but I mean that's like standard stuff, right? As in like the most standard of stuff you can get pretty much. Yeah. I mean scouting for both players is not that good yet because well <laughs> they haven't even gotten to the enemy base yet. So while we're at it, let's just ask you to subscribe to the channel because hey I don't have anything else to talk about, I mean, it's a large map, not a lot is going on, we will probably see, like, a lot of medium tanks, a couple of light tanks, mainly, mainly light tanks I expect, actually, and a, um, it's a uh, British meter, so, yeah, not really anything, like, to talk about there, either, I mean, it's allied to allied, and even the bonus is the same, and over here, well, second door truck is out, and over here, well, second old truck is out and expanding with power plants down to the south to get the second officer or like a second refinery out. Minus 10 power on this side, but now with another power plant, you're on plus 90. Good job, right. And lighting's coming out already. That is a little quick. Double war factory already. This side we only have one with like a couple of lightings. And I was a war risk does see these light tanks. Slasher doesn't really know anything about the enemy yet. And there is your second refinery. Just because of that, I do think that I was waters at least as long as they stay in their base and like mass up a little bit. To get like home uh like home base advantage and all that. I do think they have a very good chance at winning, just because their eco will be way better early on. That all it's already better, I mean, especially if you just get a couple of gems. And in terms of army, yeah, they are behind right now. Especially because they only have, like, one production building. But, I mean, it's not as if Slasher is able to, like, keep up production. This, though, could possibly be a problem. Four light tanks. Not that many, but it is good damage. Already being healed up, but oh no, 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 no. And the uh, construction yard has to be sold off. Ouch. Yeah, your eco is good. And you do have a second wall factory out, just in time. Second weapon factory. But on this side, well, construction yard is there. They don't expand that much yet. They haven't yet. But they can. That's the difference. They can. You can, of course, get more eco out, because it's red alert, so you can just buy ore trucks. And because of that, your eco won't be as bad as it would be in Tiberian Dawn, if you lose your construction yard. But don't lose your refinery, don't lose your weapons factory, because that's going to hurt a lot. Because, yeah, as soon as that's gone, your eco is a lot less efficient, and you're in big, big trouble. You are producing medium tanks now, which, yeah, they are stronger than light tanks, of course. Uh, but I wonder if they're, like, strong enough, and, like, this eco is so bad right now. Having to travel all the way here. It's probably better if they start, like, taking down this field. At least temporarily. While you build up a force and, like, then, like, maybe snipe the enemy construction yard. Because, yeah, I mean... I do say that you're like, well, ahead in eco, but also not by that much. Only like 3,000. Couple thousand, not more. 
So yeah, I mean, for all trucks, that's it. On this side, I mean, let's look at the ore trucks. Well, one, two, three. You're actually just ahead like that. One ore truck more. Very efficient over here. This is, of course, not very efficient. And your army, it's not bad. However, many gunners coming in, and as soon as this refinery is gone, you're dead. You cannot let that die. You are on top of it with, like, the repairs and all that, so that's good. And I kind of wonder what they're doing on this side. I mean, building medium tanks, of course, very nice. And having to defend this. Actually really defensive, like this, with, like, uh, three helpers and all that. But yeah, hmm. Both players a little bit passive right now. Wanting to build up the force, getting the forces together, it makes sense. I mean, you can't really let them get into your base, so you also can't really go to the enemy base to destroy things there. You really need a couple of sniping forces to take down this refinery. This is the, like, weak point for I was the waters, I was the waters, and there. That's, of course, very bad for Slasher if it goes down. These light tanks being caught out like this could also hurt a lot. Because, well, yeah, light tanks, you can't really just let them die for free, which is effectively what's happening. Because, well, you are ahead in eco, but you're also not that far ahead that you can, like, actually just let things die for free. Being yellow, you do have a little bit of an advantage, of course. Being difficult to see, but that's mainly on the minimap, which, well, Slasher doesn't have anyway, so actually not a big deal. And, well, yeah, they are, like, zoomed out this far at max, so, like, yeah, not a big deal for them. I am, of course, special. I am God. I can zoom out. They can't. Right. Light tanks, medium tanks all around, and it should be a good fight for our Wasta Waters, just because they have more tanks. And losing these forces for Slasher could spell the end, because as long as these forces are gone, I was the Walrus can go into the enemy base and kill that construction yard and that refinery, whatever. Little bit ahead, sadly. But, well, yeah, keep moving and all that. Just, like, keep moving and shooting at the same time. But both players are doing that, so not really an advantage for either player. And these light tanks deal good damage. However, the closer you get to Slasher's base, the more reinforcements will be for Slasher and less of them for will uh, less of them will be for I was the Waters. Now going in with like just five light tanks. Keeping the enemy engaged in the middle makes sense, but you need to keep moving. Because right now there isn't anything here. And tanks are coming back. You're already too late, I think. And, well, you're going to try and take down the power plant. Right, I mean, they've got like 160 plus power. So, yeah, they don't care. They shouldn't care, at least. Deal plus, plus 53. And now moving here. Yeah, trying to get out with your life, it makes sense. But you didn't really accomplish a lot. Eco, you're still like 5,000 ahead, which is good. But this view is all gone, which means that all of your eco isn't uh, super inefficient. Getting the gems from the middle is of course really nice, if that was your plan, it seems like it. Getting that extra eco is very nice, because you do have a lot of war trucks. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine war trucks. So not efficient, but you do have a lot of them. Sold off the construction yard right now. And you only have, like, three ore trucks. Slasher, I'm surprised you're able to keep up with Eco this well, being only 5,000 behind. Now, this ore field is not accessible anymore. And where is your army? I was the Walrus. Okay, a couple of medium things are being produced again. But, yeah, you're very spread out with your your ore trucks and your, well, not the refinery itself, but like, 
your base is very tall. Not technology-wise, but like physically. And your ore trucks have to go all around the map. You can't be here to defend the refinery and defend your ore trucks at the same time. As long as you're here, and like Slasher wants to, they can rush into your base, get the refinery gone, and you pretty much die. And I think I Was The Waters realizes that, because they're actually just going to give up three ore trucks. Yeah. Um, giving up ore trucks like that, not something you normally want to do. This one is actually running into the enemy base just to go around. And here, well, Weapon Factory, losing that is also a very big problem. Slasher's base, very compact. And although they, of course, have the same risk of, like, losing the refinery, because they're less spread out, they're having an easier time defending. At least I would assume so. And, well, Weapon Factory is gone. Power plant is gone, 110 power plus still, 120 now. So, power plant going down isn't a big deal, but this is a lot. Weapons factory gone, and you're not producing. And it is time to say GG, because it's a win for Slasher. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left, but that's all I'm going to have for you today, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.